Hello traders, welcome to this morning's Bitcoin and cryptocurrency update. I'm going to start things a little bit differently. So here you can see this trading update sheet. Now this is something that I provide to crew members um, every day within the community. So it just gives some key levels that I'm looking at and some like major statistics just to help kind of form a bias and things for the day's trading. And uh, yeah, you can see here how it gives yeah all these all these nice levels, important support and resistance, and then my notes of what I'm looking at for the day. So yeah, I'll just quickly go over that. I thought a little freebie for everyone today, uh, you get to see this trading sheet. Um, but yeah, Bitcoin is holding above 32K after a quick move down to the range value area low and weekly level yesterday. It is trading well within a tight range and starting to create value here, which is important in the long run. I am still looking at that 31600 area and would like to see a move down into that zone tonight or over the weekend. Fib time for the Gartley Harmonic is this evening around New York close. If price can range between 31k and 33k over the weekend, then it would give a good solid base for a move up. However, any move below 31k at this stage would begin to open up much lower targets. So um, yeah, there we go. That's my uh, trading update sheet. You won't see that often on this video, but I thought I'd share it today. <laughs> So yeah, it's really very much the same thing. Um, I'm looking still at this uh, this Gartley harmonic to play out. And what I was saying there about the fib time. So we had the possibility that we could see a move down uh, yesterday, but really because we saw this one um, getting the highs, then you would think that the two, just to give nice symmetry to this, this nice symmetry to this whole move, we're looking at a, a move down here around that New York close kind of time tonight. Now this might not happen. This would just be like really, really nice if it does. Um, it's just it's just technical analysis. Sometimes things don't play out quite as you would expect them to, but often it does work out quite well too. So um, yeah, really we're just looking at something similar almost to what we saw back here. Uh, so the last time we had a big move down was going into into a weekend, right? So we can go back. Uh, this was a couple of weeks ago. And we can see here how we had this move down into like a Friday. We were chopping around. And then we ha finally had that flush of the lows. Like it took out these lows, started to chop around here, but building value within this area before getting a reversal. And it's very similar to what we're seeing at the moment. Like price currently is within a little range here, but we're still, we still have lower targets. Okay. So that's important. And it's those lower targets really that, um, that we're looking for now. So what we had then playing out on the one hour chart, you can kind of move that over and we're doing something very similar <clears throat> on the four hour here. So we'll see what happens with that. That is kind of my, my main idea for the day and for the weekend is what I would really like to see is this move down to get a range down here and then we can start to create that value and see a move out of this zone and the reason I, I say like actually have a range here and not just have a quick recovery is because I don't want to see untouched levels on the way back up otherwise it's just like right okay let's short this back down into these single prints into these da daily naked points of control and um that really is the reason why we keep coming back to revisit these areas is because we get these fast moves up and they need to be retraced they need to be tested we've not yet tested this area at all as support and um, and I think that's really important so I can go over here onto onto this and we can see if if I zoom out that was zooming in. Um, we can see if we zoom out, not once has price come in to any of this value area from that move that we saw down a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so we have this entire area here that's not been tested at all. Again, we had another area here. It left this behind, it left this behind, and then we had this big move up. Now it came in and it filled out this day, so the 27th of June, it was testing that came all the way down to the value area low and started to build a point of control again where this original point of control was so it started to build, build some value there <clears throat> wasn't enough to break out so now we need to look lower this is the really important level not yet tested so everything between 31800 and 30750 this is a big value area which should act as support that we've not actually back tested as support yet. So 
that's the key thing for me is I, I am very much expecting a move down into these areas. And yeah, if it can bounce off the point of control, great. It shows very strong support. If we do have to come through and range within this area, then yeah, also that's very healthy. What we don't want to be seeing, obviously, is it to come through, to fall th through below that, and then for this to become resistance, okay? So this has this at this stage is being tested as support. It has to hold as support, okay? Um, otherwise, we're looking at much lower targets. So yeah, that's just kind of the, the general reason why um i believe that this is very very likely to play out and it might not but that's yeah all of my trading at the moment is is based off of off of this idea um and it would have to take like a change of market structure or something uh to change that but still on the low time frames there's still stuff that's very very tradable so we had some really nice trades yesterday um <clears throat> we were we came down here and you can see all of these lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And then we had this change of market structure. And this allowed us to take a really nice trade from right down here and trade this up. And at this point, we were looking up at our VWAP. So we traded it back up into VWAP and then managed to get another move out of there, which again, I won't cover today, but there was some, um, this is a certain strategy again uh, for that I have shared previously with members of the, the crew and there's a, a very kind of specific setup uh here that i do trade and we yeah it came right up to the target that you'd want to see from that which was really good before getting a move down and again we're seeing a change of market structure here so yeah um it locally it's been really nice to trade and things are just moving around this vwap um every time kind of getting these moves out you can fade the moves down, take it into VWAP, get these moves below, and that's just kind of how we're going at the moment. <clears throat> now, overall, I think this eventually, because of the, the, the greater idea, I think we could start to fall down and start to lose this level later on today, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, obviously, just taking it level by level, we have the ultimate idea, but there's still a lot of stuff in between that you can trade. So, um, yeah. That's basically everything on um, on Bitcoin. Uh, the other thing I wanted to go over today was on Ethereum. Now on Ethereum, we had this move down into this local golden pocket, the golden zone here, and on the USD pair into that 786.83. Now someone on the Discord was asking me, how do I know which one to trade uh so how do i know whether to look at the 786 or the 83 um or to look at the golden pocket like what is it that gives me confidence on that and i know we're kind of losing this now and we're, we're probably looking down down towards these kind of areas at this stage but in order for this to get this bounce initially um why do i use these two levels so it's basically just off of this idea that whatever bitcoin does more often than not altcoins will follow but they get like magnified moves so if bitcoin's moving down not only are the us dollar value of alts moving down but they're also losing bitcoin value as well more often than not okay so we can see yeah it, it, you know how it is you you just know like if, if bitcoin is down three percent often a lot of the bitcoin pairs the alt btc pairs go down as well so that naturally, if you're looking at, say, a 68 or 61.8% retrace on a BTC pair, that's going to end up going deeper on a USD pair. Because not only do you have the Bitcoin pair going down, but you have the Bitcoin itself going down, which then gives a deeper retrace. So that's the reason why on the BTC pairs, the golden pocket is important. But if you take things over onto the USD pairs, then you've got to look at those deeper retraces because obviously you get those magnified effects and those magnified moves. So, yeah, hopefully that that explains uh, yeah kind of my reasoning for using both of those levels. Um, yeah, and other than that, there's not a lot uh, on the alts to go over. I still think we're looking a little bit deeper today. Um, however. ETH USD 
Okay, so ETHUSD has come into an area that I do think is very interesting here. And we can see this ETH BTC pair as well doing the same thing. So what have we got? We have these lower highs all the way down, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, then a change of market structure. And at this point, we're doing something very similar to what we're doing on, on the macro as well. So we can draw our fibs. We can look here, golden pocket, or we can go... <coughs> 786283 coming into that and then again on this one you draw your fibs and this is actually interesting because locally it's, it's doing the opposite thing okay but for me this is a really good opportunity on on ethereum at least for for a small trade you've just come below vwap we've come into the golden pocket you can take a long here and get quite a nice trade out of that um so yeah, be aware. So this is something that we call the Trident pattern um, or the Quasimodo. Uh, the Trident is kind of a very specific, it has a very specific set of rules that goes with it that's based off of FIB extensions that gives you take profit targets that are very, very reliable as well. Um, and again, we go over all of that stuff in the crew. We had a really nice trading room yesterday uh, where one of these, yeah, like I said, on the Bitcoin chart played out like literally to perfection, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, so that's... Uh, Bitcoin and, and Ethereum covered, really. Uh, on the TPO, we're not looking at anything too significant on here. Um, there's a decent enough low that's been, been put in, but I would still expect that to get taken out at some point. We've got a wide initial balance for the day. So again, the likelihood is any moves in a, like initial moves kind of outside of this value area are going to get faded and, and we've seen that so we saw a move outside of value area here gets faded back down move outside of value area here gets faded back up again so i'd say that will probably continue for a while um but ultimately like still looking for lower uh throughout the day on this um in terms of like really local stuff uh let's actually just zoom out of this a little bit um whoops uh, let's go to the one hour chart and yeah we can see spot buying is still starting to come back in so there's definitely an interesting spot here we can see that again why we get, why we keep getting these moves down is we're creating these bullish these bearish divergences at these highs so <clears throat> price itself consistently making these lower highs but silly traders all the time longing into resistance and this is what you get this is this yellow line way too overextended coming above here but price not following again here coming above this bit but price not following and just yeah people longing into resistance and it's mainly binance uh, that's doing it so sorry binance traders but you're not very bright and um this is what happens this is why we can't have nice things like a recovery rally and a trending move upwards again stop longing into resistance it's just silly and you're losing all your money <laughs> but yeah uh Anyway, um, yeah, that's that's probably everything to cover on today's update. Um, yeah, again, uh, if you've not already signed up um, to our Discord group and you, well, if you've not seen my videos before and you're not on our Discord, then please do come and join us. We've got a really nice Discord community. Um, Again, here is our nice Discord community. Oh, there's this little sneaky peek into Coach's Corner for the crew. Um, but yeah, we've got some good general chat. We've got a load of Bitcoin charts. So people constantly posting their ideas on Bitcoin and on altcoins. And again, here you can see how on Ethereum we were looking at this move, uh, which we did get a nice little bounce off of last night. So, so yeah, yeah, uh, do come and join us. Um, anyway, that wraps it up for today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you, well, little stream tonight. I've got a really busy weekend, um, but I'll do a small stream tonight and then, yeah, I'll see you all on Monday after England have won the Euros. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.